Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, court rules in Dan Greider defamation case. AEA releases 2023 Quarter 2 Avionics Market Report. NTSB Final Report on TaylorCraft VL65. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Court rules in Dan Greider defamation case. A Texas court has ruled that online allegations made by controversial YouTuber Dan Greider against Texas pilot and airport owner Charles Cook were false and defamatory. District Court Judge John Chupp of Texas's Tarrant County ordered Greider to pay Cook a total of over $1 million plus interest. Dan Greider is the proprietor of Probable Cause, a YouTube channel dedicated to the analysis of aviation incidents and accidents. Detractors of his channel contend Greider's analyses are hasty and often presumptuous. In 2021, Greider posted the first of a three-installment video series in which he cast aspersions on Charles Cook, a Boeing 777 captain and the owner of Fort Worth, Texas's Flying Oaks Airport. The first of the three videos addressed an August 21, 2021 accident in which an Aronka 7AC champion, registration November 1472 Echo, was substantially damaged and its pilot and a single passenger killed shortly after departing the aforementioned Flying Oaks Airport. Greider named Cook as the airport's owner and alleged the facility was, quote, rampant with cowboys, end quote. Moreover, Greider made vague accusations of illegal activity having transpired at Flying Oaks Airport and alluded to complaints in addition to many other claims, some of them way outside reasonable bounds about the original topic, each countered by Cook and his counsel. And coming up after the break, Russian aircraft breach Alaska Aedes. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Russian aircraft breach Alaska Aedes. Russian military aircraft in furtherance of a protracted and worsening global trend of aerial belligerence have again breached the Aedes off the coast of Alaska. NORAD, a joint U.S.-Canadian organization tasked with monitoring North American airspace and safeguarding the sovereign interests of both the U.S. and Canada, reported on August 14 that it had detected four Russian military aircraft of an unspecified type within the Aedes and tracked such through the late hours of August 13th into the wee hours of August 14th. Fulga Nepper Airlines issues ultimatum regarding seized AN-124. Three days after the outbreak of the Russo-Ukrainian conflict, a Volga Nepper AN-124 landed in Toronto laden with personal protective equipment to be utilized by the people of Canada. In June 2023, Canada's Minister of Foreign Affairs declared the Canadian government had ordered the AN-124 seizure pursuant the nation's Special Economic Measures Act. Comes now August 2023, and Volga Nepper has issued an ultimatum threatening to drag the Canadian government before international arbitrators for purpose of forcing the return of what the airline asserts is a stolen asset. 2023 Catherine Wright Trophy recipient named The NAA and the 99s have announced Julie Clark is to be awarded 2023's Catherine Wright Memorial Trophy. Clark is being honored for her enduring contributions to aviation, the success of others, and the promotion of aerospace education. Julie Clark is known as a 40-year airshow pilot and one of the first female aviators to fly for a major airline. An original charter member of the International Society of Women Airline Pilots, Clark consistently and unreservedly contributes her knowledge and offers her support to ICAS. Piper reports strong quarter 2 2023 growth. Piper Aircraft announced its 2023 second quarter delivery and revenue figures. Across all metrics, the company's performance surpassed 2022's second quarter, evincing stabilization of the GA aircraft market. 
Compared to quarter two 2022, Piper's aircraft deliveries increased by nearly 14 percent, revenues increased by upwards of 19 percent. Piper's quarter two 2023 deliveries are up by seven aircraft, revenue increased by over $9 million. The company's strong performance was driven by a strong demand for Piper's Premier, M-Class, and Trainer aircraft. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. AEA releases 2023 quarter two avionics market report. In the first six months of the year, total worldwide business and general aviation avionics sales amounted to more than $1.6 billion as reported by participating companies. Second quarter sales increased 5.9% sequentially from the first quarter of 2023. During the second quarter months of April, May, and June, sales increased 16.2% compared to the same time frame one year ago. With more than $823 million in sales during the second quarter, the figure marked the highest quarterly sales volume in the history of the report and represented a 19.2% increase in total sales compared to the first six months of 2022, which was driven by a 31.7% increase in forward fit sales compared to the same time frame one year ago. 2023 second quarter saw the industry garner the largest quarterly forward fit sales volume in the history of the report, with more than $490 million in avionics sales to OEMs. On only two previous occasions have quarterly forward fit sales topped $400 million. And after these messages, NTSB final report on TaylorCraft BL65. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. NTSB final report on TaylorCraft BL65. The NTSB has officially weighed in on the bizarre 2021 Trevor Jacob plane crash fraud, another instance in which an influencer proved untrustworthy. The NTSB noted that, quote, the pilot reported that the airplane's engine lost power during cruise flight over mountainous terrain. He stated that after determining that there were no available emergency landing spots, he decided to bail out. The airplane was destroyed during the impact sequence and the pilot sustained minor injuries as a result of the parachute jump. Shortly after the accident, the pilot provided a statement regarding the circumstances to the NTSB and FAA, and in a series of correspondences later stated that he had not been able to locate the airplane wreckage. However, evidence gathered by the NTSB and FAA indicated that the pilot had recovered the airplane from the accident site, destroyed it, and then disposed of the remains. The case was referred to the DOT IG, and in May 2023, the pilot admitted to the U.S. attorney that he both intentionally crashed the airplane and destroyed the evidence. He pled guilty to a felony charge for obstructing a federal investigation by deliberately destroying the airplane wreckage. On final note, the NTSB determined the probable cause of the accident to be the pilot's decision to intentionally crash the airplane. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.